When I started up Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for the first time, I thought I was gonna hunt monsters. Game said I wasn't good enough for that. Before I even got to hunt my first real monster, which, by the way, I've gotta say that monster is really... Whatever, we'll get to that in a bit. My point is, the game went out of its way in several ways to make sure I knew just how pathetic I was. And it all started with the opening cutscene. The first thing I see is my character getting blasted off a mountain by a Tigrex. The fool tried to use a dinner plate to block a freight train. I mean, what, did he think Tigrex was gonna crumple on his arm like a cheap can of soda? And then, after sending my stupid ass to the Shadow Realm, Tigrex pops off with its signature loud roar move, probably causing an avalanche and dying in the process. Either way, the game clearly communicates how trash I am, right from the start. And believe me, once I got to my first quests, things didn't get much better for me. Oh yeah, almost forgot, since this is my first Monster Hunter Freedom Unite video, I am morally obligated to feature the iconic Window Bird. I mean, I ain't even gotta say anything about it, just look, it's just funny. Anyway, okay, yes, it required way more focus than I thought it would to kill small monsters. It took me way longer to kill a single bullfingo than I care to admit. And yes, the Benahabra, or whatever the flying insect thing is called, is actually the most immersive implementation of a giant insect in video games, since they make me want to run for the hills when they pull up to me, just like in real life. However, the greatest foe I faced was poverty. I struggled to afford stuff like potions and pickaxes, let alone weapon upgrades. The village elder sent me out to murder small monsters, just normal animals really, whose corpses decayed faster than I could carve them. Every hit I take worth its weight in potions and thus in precious zenny. My old pickaxes exploded in my hands, time and time again, expenses on expenses on expenses. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite is the first Monster Hunter game where I needed to sell fish for money. It's like I was playing Stardew Valley or something, just living off the land. I'll admit, it is soothing. The relaxed village theme, scoring the rhythmic clang of my pickaxe against rock, watching the leisurely movement of the river and the river fish, dumping the fruits of my labor one by one into the storage box because this game released before easy inventory management was invented. Look, I don't have a problem playing it slow. This ain't my first old generation Monster Hunter game, but this game definitely made me wonder, why do I need to pay to go on quests? Shouldn't the village cover that cost? You're telling me that to go out and risk my life for the benefit of the village, I need to pay the village money. Huh? That'd be like if you needed to pay a fee to sign up for the military, it doesn't make sense. Eventually, the village elder decided to send me after a geodrome, my first real hunt, after taking some more of my very limited funds for the contract fee, of course. Now, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, geodrome is almost objectively, in every way, a shit monster. But I kinda like him. He's a funny guy, probably because he's so shit. I mean, come on, visually the thing is just a blue velociraptor, or the pop culture version of a velociraptor, which is apparently actually not how real velociraptors looked. The point is, this is probably intentionally a basic ass monster. And that's before we even consider how it functions from a gameplay perspective. The thing just jumps a lot and spits sometimes. Geodrome has the moveset of a small human child. Oh, and he's also very popular amongst his peers. He constantly tries to have his homies jump you, literally and figuratively. Geodrome is such a little rat monster, which is charming in its own way. Now, don't get me wrong, Geodrome was a tougher fight than I thought it would be. I mean, I didn't die to it or anything, but... 
It wasn't a pretty fight. Trying to hit Geodrome was like trying to grab a dollar on a string that kept being yanked out of my reach. And that even extended to after its death as my carves were continuously interrupted by his annoying little groupies. Also, keeping the flighty bastard on screen with claw grip camera controls was so painful. Damn you PSP and your single analog stick. Totally unrelated, rebinding controls on emulators is pretty cool, right? <laughs> Not that I'm using one or anything, just in case that's illegal. <laughs> Uh, either way, killing Geodrome blessed me with a good amount of reward money, and the rewards from future quests will probably be even greater, so now I'll never be poor again. Right? Freedom Unite opens up with a crushing defeat. It shows how much work there is to do before Tigrex will be beat. The game humbled me. It made me take a seat. But most emotionally devastating of all, was when I burned my meat. God damn it. <laughs>